Yeah, I'd love to see it go the distance. Hopefully it does. Um, again, Team First Blood is going to want to be able to set the pace. But at the same time, if they take it to the late game, I think they'll be okay, uh, right? With with everything that they have drafted, uh, especially the way that Claude should scale into the game, the setups that you get from Joy Bodge. And again, speaking off, you know, previous game, I think Joy Bodge will have an easier time finding those setups. Whereas, you know, if you accidentally pull the trigger too early on that uh, Grok instead of like a Matilda, you're not going to be as, you know, it's not as punishable, I would say. Um, where you have a little more leeway to work with. So I think that's going to be crucial for Team First Blood if they really do want to take this to a game of five. And at the same time, just give Gina the vacation mode that Gina deserves, right? We already see both roams just planning themselves up there because the same can be said for Cold World. Uh, for Cold World, you need to be able to just allow Cold World to farm up as much as possible. Irithel needs a little bit more time, like we mentioned. So... I think here, as the next tur as the first turtle of the game is going to be popping up here, you're going to see exactly how these skirmishes play out, how these things set up here, but already in the bottom side. Oh, yeah, they came in there. Yano does get taken out as he latched on the promise. And so they do punish the Gujin for that early invade, take them all the way back to the tower, and it's going to set them up for a great uh, position here for this first turtle. We do see a, bit of a, a little bit of a 2v2 here. Joy Bosch kind of lurking around the corner, but it does look like this. Oh, kid, able to steal that away. The retri foo on him at maximum effect here. So he's going to go ahead and snatch that up for Team First first blood it's kind of funny too because this whole time we were thinking you know gushin was going to be in the jungle right but gushin's in the mid lane uh and you know typically we've just seen him jungling so uh you know with kid just walking up there even though that you know, it did go down able to grab the turtle here we go yeah, and Cole will come in here trying to put on a little bit of a defense here. Yano in a little bit of trouble does get taken out by Nate. So it is a 2-0 and o game here in favor of the Simpsons, even though Team First Blood did find themselves in, in a, a, able to kind of make up for it with their turtle grab, but still having a little problem in the laning phase of this game. Yeah, so, you know, I guess this is up for debate. Like, how do people feel about mid Gushin, right? In, in the current setup <laughs> that he is and with the changes that he had. Um, because honestly, the, the biggest success that I've seen him is in the jungle. Um, but again, you kind of, because the thing is, is if you get too behind on Gushin, you have a hard time, but already he's top time. Yeah. The Blazing Duet did come out there and not able to go ahead and pick up the kills there, but does drop the Simpsons very low. And this is just showing, oh man, Nate has to go ahead and activate those uh, black shoes there as kids getting slowed down by those bombs. You see Fallen coming on to Joy Boss. He's going to do a wild charge there. A lot of damage coming out. Nate gets taken down. Fallen is going to retreat back to the base. So they finally put a kill on the board for Team First Blood. So I was just saying uh, before all that broke out was, you know, if you get too far behind on Ayano, you're going to have a hard time. But he does have Mystery Shop already picking up his first item of the game, too. And so that will allow him to have a little bit of a better time if they can get the combinations off that they need to. You can already see him playing around Joy Botch a lot, really looking for setups here. And still, you know, with this next turtle of the game coming up, this could be where we see how Team First Blood plays around it, how's it, how they play around Damien specifically, as they wait for Fallen to pretty much grab the buffs that he needs and make his way to this turtle. Yeah, we are going to go ahead and start on that wild charge. Does pop up promise. We do see that blazing duet coming out and the time journey. Damien getting taken out right now. And Kid follows up. Gina does take out Nate. Ayano goes down as well. This is tied up right now. It is a three for two exchange in favor of Team First Blood. And I'm not even sure who got that turtle, but it does look like Team First Blood starting to pick up more. And I feel like the composition starts to favor them as we start getting a little bit more uh, and deeper into this game game yeah and so a lot a lot is happening here this is what we can expect in the game four right again with these two compositions already first items being picked up by the majority of the members for both teams and still like 
this is what you need, right? Even with Gina just having that DHS on the way to the next item, you could see, right, the amount of, I guess, DPS that Blazing Duet provides. But at the same time, we saw Cole able to grab a kill for himself. That's going to be crucial, but here in the bottom side. Yeah, Bravo's gonna get taken out. He meets a quad of Team First Blood there. They put another kill up on the board. And I mean, and they're probably gonna be able to take this uh, bottom tower as you see answering back the Simpsons at oh. mid. Gina going in with the Blazing Duet is gonna be, oh, does able to uh, get that battle of mirror image to get back out to safety. But Damien and Promise get taken out there. So, I mean, things starting to look up for Team First Blood as they are starting to put on the pressure, starting to answer uh, these last lanes and and the the even the counter pushes by the side of the simpsons oh they had a landing dagger but they're not going to commit to it so again that's what i was saying right you saw that even with the time's journey blazing do it oh yeah, we can see Colwell gets taken out there alongside Damien. So a great fight right now. Luffy takes out Nate as well. That is three kills for the tie, the side of Team First Blood. So if you thought they were out of it with that last match, they are putting on a very dominating performance right now. Promise is going to be able to go ahead and uh, push onto the tower. And it, it, Team First Blood in a great position for this turtle. Not really much that the Simpsons can do to answer that. They're going to go ahead and turn their attention to try to protect the these lanes we do see minions pushing up at the top that the turtle does get picked up easily by first blood as well and they are in a 2k gold lead not completely uh, a dominant uh, gold lead but it, i mean they're inching their way forward and i gotta give it up to ayano he's done a great job at pulling in from that o2 start but here we go on the mid side yeah, Colbro putting on that damage, Kid and Luffy going to go ahead and disengage their reset on the map. Luffy going to go ahead and use that Falling Star Moon to get away and retreat. And now both teams going to go ahead, reset on the map and uh, start looking for these towers. Yeah, so that, again, this is what I was saying in the draft, right? We're going to see the Simpsons, like their push-pull strategy is really strong, uh, especially when they have a Diggy there available to them, plus the Fallen on the Benedetta, who really hasn't been able to do too much, uh, I would say, just yet. But again, that is a win condition in itself. Benedetta able to go ahead and split push, put pressure around the map if that's what he has to do. But at the same time, you want to be here for the team fights, right? Because it's it's team first blood feeling very comfortable with that 2K gold lead, like you mentioned. And they grab another kill on Damien here. This is the downside of a diggy, right? You're very squishy and uh, fallen, just going to be forced out of the jungle here. And there you go. Yeah, Joey Buzz does miss that wild charge. Black Boots and Black Shoes has been activated, but Nate gets taken down anyway. The damage from Kid and that Gujin just too much for them to manage. And you were talking about the squishiness of this team. There is nobody to really tank this damage. And if you aren't pressing, if you aren't taking advantage of, of that damage, oh my God, Luffy gets taken out by Promise uh, down at this bottom lane. But here comes Kid and Joy Buzz going to try to counter this. Promise just wants this tower. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to get it. Putting on the damage does get cleaned up. Bye, kid. See, that's the thing, right? You were just mentioning who, who is going to be the one to tank things for you. Really, no one. I mean, even Promise, like, he's not going to be, you know, that durable hero that you need. He's kind of just there to, to shred Team First Blood, and hopefully they have damage uh, in Cole later on because everything else is just kind of a push-pull, disengage type hero, uh, flashy, you know, with, with falling on this Benedetta, but that can work as well. It's just, again, allowing yourself to get the amount of items and gold on the proper heroes, which is Cole. Like, Cole World, as soon as he has, you know, three, four items, that is going to be a big threat for Team First Blood. Yeah, and, and I mean, uh, 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 easily enough, though, the Simpsons are down about uh, six or seven kills. Oh, another wild charge comes in. We do see that time journey coming out. Activated. Joy Bodge gets popped up by the Lord. Is that going to be enough? He gets taken out by Nate there, and we are still fighting up at the Lord. Gina gets taken out by Cold World there. Kid with that reverse time gets popped back right into Fallen's hands. So another kill picked up by the Simpsons. It is a one for three in favor of the Simpsons. Damien going to go.
go ahead and get an escape. Locks on that time reverse onto Luffy, who is in a bad way at that blue buff. Is still trying to put on the damage on the Nate, but is probably going to be able to disengage. You see Fall in here putting on the damage to this Lord. Luffy has taken, is going to try to harass as best he can, but there's nothing he can do. Getting juked by Nate's black boots there. Promise coming in, trying to put on the damage. I don't think that Team First Blood is going to be able to get this Fallen picking up that Lord. And now the Simpsons in a great position. Joy Boss going to have to use that flicker to get out of the way. The damage raining down on them. In comes Gina God Mode with Gushin as well. Are they going to be able to pick up a kill? Nate goes down. Damien goes down as well. And they are in the chase, even though getting the Lord putting behind three or two kills now. Our Team First Blood. Whew, that was an intense couple of minutes. I mean, from, from the early skirmish in the jungle up to the Lord. And, you know, the whole time I'm thinking the Simpsons should just pull back after they got the Lord. You know, I'm saying, go back, go back. But they pulled the trigger. They got punished a little bit. But overall, they were able to get a couple of kills, too. So that is big. Now they can play around with this Lord. Uh, again, this is what you see, a very slippery team composition for the Simpsons. And that's what Team First Blood's having a trouble dealing with a little bit, right? And at the, all the while, Cole World still building up here. Fallen, though, is going to get the attention of everybody. Yeah, unfortunately, your own Fallen, just so slippery on that Benedetta, is able to kind of get away from three of them, allowing his team to go ahead and get that top mid turret as well. Promise might be in a little bit of trouble here. Cold World is coming to the rescue, putting on the damage there as well. And we are down to inhibitors for the side of Team First Blood. It, it, just an amazing job by the Simpsons to turn this around just when they needed to, even without somebody to tank all that damage. Their rotation the mobility, being able to put that damage onto the towers is really giving Team First Blood a run for their money when it comes to the macro of this game. The tables have turned, Private, right? I mean, they, <laughs> the, the gold is in favor of the Simpsons now, but even with that being said, all it is going to take for Team First Blood is a, a great setup from them, and that's Joybot once again, right? They have great tools to deal with, but you're, you're talking about the setup from Team First Blood and the disengage factor for the Simpsons, but they're going for it. Yeah, Gina comes in with that blazing duet. Luffy is on the chase right now, trying to take out Gamey, and Luffy taking a heap of damage here. Here comes the time journey, but still down goes Damian. Cold World able to take down uh, Luffy as well there. So it is a one-for-one one trade, wow. but up at the top, you see Dyroff with that split push. The team has finally caught on. Is he going to be able to take down that tower? It doesn't look like it. Gina noticed it in time to go ahead and save it. Oh, no, but that, that it looks like that minion's going to be able to take it down. He does promises on the escape right now in comes Fallen, dancing with that Benedetta, <laughs> is going to be able to find himself an escape. A great play there, especially unfortunately for the side of Team First Blood, focusing on Promise and allowing that minion to still put the boots to that top tower. Promise. Just, I mean, so like the top side pressure, it wasn't even the Benedetta that we thought, you know, Fallen wasn't the one to do that. It was Promise. And now this is going to set the Lord fight up as we see both teams crashing down for it. Yeah, we see the Blazing Duet coming up on the top. Meanwhile, oh, Promise does get taken down here. This might be in a little bit of trouble here for this Lord. We are trying to buy for it. Fallen able to pick up that Lord. Are they going to be able to get away? Kid gets taken down. Ayano gets taken down. This is bad news for Team First Blood as they are going to have to disengage. It looks like Joy Bot's in a little bit of trouble here. Is going to be able to get away? Sneaking by is that giant croc, but he's going to get pulled back. Oh, Fallen gets yanked by his own speed boost there and gets pulled away from the ground. Luffy doing the best he can to try to stay off the pressure of three members. Not sure if he's going to be able to do it. He does activate that sprint. Gets taken out and cleaned up by Nate. But we have a Luminous Lord marching his way through the top lane. And can Team First Blood hold back for this defense? Oh, man. I can't even enjoy Joybot survive that. But, yeah, they have a, they have their work cut out for him here as just a lord. They got to deal with it. They should be fine. Gina still has the Blazing Duet. Can help clear things out if they need to. But they're punching it in. 
Yeah, they are. You're seeing, I mean, a great defense for the side of Team uh, Team First Blood. Lanes are all kind of being synced up here right now. They are going to be able to clean up this Luminous Lord. Gina still putting on damage, not really afraid of falling, but here comes the Blazing Duet. Promise is going to go ahead and disengage from that. Bottom lane, uh, we do have the minions kind of crashing at the turret. Team First Blood is going to go ahead and clear that up. Promise coming in on the kid. This might not be the fight he wants. We do see the Abyssal Strike oh. does, lay, or does miss, but still able to pick up the kill on the kid. We have a clash here happening at the mid in Herbiter Tower. Luffy does go down and down goes that tower as well. We are at the core. This is it for Team First Blood. If they cannot defend this, Wild Charge comes in from Joy Bonds. Cold World gets taken out by Ayano. That Gujin paying for his pick right there as Promise picks him off. Gina able to take down Follow. We are down to 10% and that is it. Simpsons over Team First Blood. Another